Famous cars in the world today are mainly powered by two main sources, such as fossil fuels and batteries. Now, more and more new batteries are being researched and launched to increase the range and performance of electric cars, such as nuclear batteries. Scientists have also found a way to help increase the safety of nuclear batteries by using thorium as the material for this battery. Thorium could increase the efficiency of nuclear batteries many times over and is expected to introduce a new era for battery technology. So, what makes thorium such a superior component for nuclear batteries? Stay tuned to find out. But before we start, please show your support by subscribing to the channel and ringing the bell so you won't miss any of our interesting videos in the future. Now, without any further delays, let's dive right in on today's content. Thorium will usher in a new era of clean, inexpensive, and sustainable energy free from carbon emissions. This is a low radioactive metallic chemical element. Its reactors offer a potentially safer, cleaner, and more affordable alternative to traditional nuclear reactors fueled by highly radioactive materials. The main reactor type that's being explored for thorium is Molten Salt Reactors, or MSR. There are many different types of molten salt reactors, but there is one specific type which is called a liquid fluoride thorium reactor. A great benefit of this reactor is that it can self-regulate to maintain its temperature within an optimal and safe range. As the temperature in the reactor goes up, the rate at which the fission reaction occurs goes down. Hence why I've been touting its safety thus far until I'm proven otherwise. It's expected that thorium reactors will have lower operational costs than traditional fission reactors as well. It's due to the fact that these systems operate at low pressure while at a high heat range, which means the containment vessels can be smaller and thinner. Also, these reactors require fewer components for fuel assemblies. They're basically composed of just vats of fuel, making them simpler and cheaper to build. So, how can thorium be implemented into our daily lives? In the past, Tesla's CEO Elon Musk has shared that thorium will be a very potential material for nuclear batteries. Indeed, thorium is much safer compared to uranium. According to experts, it only emits alpha radiation, which is weak enough that it can't penetrate our epidermis, or the outer layer of skin. Scientists have taken advantage of thorium in order to develop a nuclear battery with an extremely long lifespan. This new nuclear battery uses nuclear waste and can last up to 35,000 years. And that's very impressive, especially when you consider the average life of an EV battery is only 10 to 20 years. The power of the nuclear battery comes from radioactive isotopes used in nuclear reactors. In this case, the radioactive isotopes from thorium will power the battery. It can then be used to power devices and machines of any size, from aircraft and rockets to electric vehicles and even smartphones. Not only that, previously, laser power systems based in Connecticut developed a method of propulsion that uses thorium to produce electricity to power a car engine. According to the company, just one gram of thorium produces more energy than 28,000 liters of petrol, which is equivalent to 7,500 gallons of gasoline. They also added that just 8 grams of thorium would be enough to power a vehicle for its entire life. It can even go millions of miles without refueling. Well, goodbye range anxiety. Meanwhile, as per some sources, the average price of regular gasoline in the US is currently at around $4.67 per gallon. Hence, it'll cost about 35,000 US dollars for 7,500 gallons of gas. The price of one gram of thorium is only $275.48, so the cost of one gram of thorium is 127 times cheaper. In addition to that, thorium reserves are vast. It is three to four times more abundant than uranium in the Earth's crust and widely distributed in nature as an easily exploitable resource in many countries. Experts estimate that there is enough thorium in the United States alone to power the country at its current energy level for over a thousand years. In fact, according to the data from the United States Geological Survey and the International Atomic Energy Agency, the largest thorium reserves in the world are found in India, which has around 25% of the world reserves, which is currently estimated at 519,000 tons, while Australia has 489,000 tons, representing 19%. Also, the United States has the third largest reserves in the world, which is estimated to be at about 400,000 tons, or 13%. 
Therefore, battery manufacturers and EV manufacturers will pay close attention to thorium, especially Tesla, as the American EV manufacturer is still looking for ways to reduce its dependence on the supply chain from China. Indeed, within the context of a shortage of certain raw materials to produce electric vehicle batteries, thorium is considered an effective solution. On top of that, designs for thorium field vehicles have been announced and the public hopes they will appear in reality in the future. Why, back in 2009, Lauren Kulesis, a designer specializing in automotive branding, presented the Cadillac Word Thorium Fuel concept. The concept car is designed to last 100 years without any basic maintenance. It just takes thorium-based fuel to operate. Kalesis said apart from adjusting the Cadillac Word Thorium Fuel's 24 tires, which are basically four groupings of six mini wheels powered by four induction motors every five years, not one element of the vehicle would need to be added or subtracted in its estimated lifespan. In addition, Norway-based marine group Olstein has introduced Thor. Its concept design for a 149 meter or 489 feet replenishment, research, and rescue ship powered by a thorium molten salt reactor that can be used to recharge battery driven cruise ships at sea. As environmental consciousness grows, ecotourism has become a booming business, but with the desire to visit exotic environments comes the need to protect these often under threat locations. This is particularly urgent for cruise ships going into the polar regions, which are notoriously fragile. To overcome this, the Olstein Group is looking to the multi-purpose Thor, which would not only be able to operate in polar seas to carry out research and rescue missions independent of refueling, but could also recharge the next generation of electrically propelled cruise ships. Since Thor is designed to recharge these future cruise ships, Olstein is also working on the SIF concept ship, which is a 100 meter or 330 foot 80 passenger ship that could be recharged at sea by the nuclear powered Thor. Talk about all mighty. So, will thorium be widely used in the automotive industry in the future? Unfortunately, it's still too early to tell whether we'll be driving around in thorium powered cars in the future or some other new spectacular battery concept vehicle. The car buying public like you and I would have to be educated as to the benefits and safety of such a system to overcome any doubts they might have about radioactive fuel under the hood. Alas, thorium also had a lot of technical problems to overcome before it was officially put into mass use. Previously, billions of dollars had been invested in the research and development of technologies based on nuclear fuel. However, recently, scientists have stepped up the research process for thorium. Meanwhile, China is taking a revolutionary approach with the invention of a new generation in reactor technology. The country's scientists claim that this type of reactor will allow them to use thorium fuel with much greater care than conventional uranium fuel. This, along with those to come, will be one of the big steps that help our world edge closer to commercializing thorium. And that's the end of today's episode. We sincerely thank you for watching today's video and for all of your support of our channel, Tesla Car World. As always, if you enjoyed our video, please leave a like, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and ring that bell to stay up to date on exciting developments in the world of EVs. And be sure to leave a comment down below to tell us what you think about today's content. Once again, we thank you so much. From all of us here, we hope to see you again next time. Until then, take care and be safe.